Hi, welcome to Fiber Love Diary. Luther needs to get up in the chair. Come on. Okay. There you go. I'm Trish if we haven't met, and if we have met, welcome back. How are you? You might hear him chewing. I apologize. I have the more of the purple fin to spin today. It's really not purple. It's more of like a wine, but we're gonna chat. I've been planning to do this for well, shortly, since shortly after we got back from Rhinebeck, um, I actually filmed it. This is the third time. I want to try and film it so I can edit it as minimal, minimally as possible, just like the video that we did at the campfire in Rhinebeck. And wish me luck, because when I spin and chat with you at the same time, I often, um, I often ramble. See, I'm already losing track of my brain. It's true. Uh, so if you missed that video, just quickly, it was mostly about um, the fact that I opened up memberships on YouTube while it was still in beta. In fact, it may still be in beta, I'm not exactly sure. Thinking, because they give you a link for people to sign up as members, thinking that no one would even know I had started to work on it until I shared the link. Uh, not realizing that there would be a join button on anyone who's not on the iOS app on their little screen right below the screen right next to where it says subscribe so um, not knowing that I opened it up because I wanted to start working on the area and kind of just think about it and figure it out and very quickly like within days people started joining and we quickly quickly went up to i think it was around 50 members at that point in time and i was stressing because i felt like oh my goodness i had not intended on opening this until sharing it i should say until 2023 and i'm not doing what i want to do and it's really stressful I was feeling just so bad about it on the way to rhinebeck and i had talked to john about it on the way and then someone commented on something else about how they didn't think they should have to pay for content because they had gotten it free for so long and that it was very ungrateful of me because her, I want to say this correctly, her watching the free videos, free to the end user, um, was her supporting me and it was me not appreciating the support. And I want you to know if anybody does feel that way, I'm so sorry. That's not true. I really appreciate every single time you share, every single time you like, every single time you subscribe, when you're in a different, um, like Facebook or Reddit, people have shared links to my videos in response to questions that other people had. That all helps my channel a lot. So I appreciate all of it. If you watch, if you like, comment, subscribe, if you do all those things, I appreciate it. It has helped this channel grow to where it is now. So it's not a huge channel, even in the space. It's more like medium size, I would say. Um, yeah, I would say medium size. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just thinking about really how to compare it. It's kind of hard to compare because I don't uh, really watch YouTube in the same space as I make YouTube. There's different reasons for that, but the very biggest reason is that when I was doing classes about how to grow in YouTube, which was very early on in this channel, probably like 2017, 2000. I did it again in like 2020 while we were all home, different classes. Most of them say, look at what other people are doing and then do that if it's working for them. And I cannot get on board with that philosophy. I feel like all that does is make things like into an echo chamber where we're all just trying to um, copy each other really. And I don't want that. So, and I think it happens without you even realizing it if you are too wrapped up in following what everyone else is doing, if that makes sense. But I don't follow anybody that I consider to be in the same space. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it, only because 
again it just turns into an echo chamber there are groups of content creators that are creating the same types of content that like you can join and spend your time in but number one i feel like i don't have time and number two i feel like the same thing happens there so um I definitely am in contact with some of the people in sort of per peripheral or lateral spaces and I think we're friends but um, I, I just don't do that. I feel like every there's space for all of us and nobody's watching just my channel and then shunning all the other channels saying Tris is my favorite and I wouldn't want you to. You would miss out on so much if you were thinking that you had to only watch here you know you would miss out on so much so i don't want that for you same with buying from my shop sometimes people apologize to me and i'm like you would miss out on so much cool fiber if you tried to only shop in my shop i don't want that for you and you shouldn't want it for yourself honestly so i do not feel any kind of way about that um so that's what happened in that video that's that whole situation John and I woke up the next morning. That video took like nine hours to upload because my connection was so slow, uh, obviously, because we didn't have our real home Wi-Fi connection. We had one in the campground, which is really slow, and then I can turn my phone into a hotspot, but I didn't have great reception, so that was also slow. It took like nine hours. I think it finished at like 10 o'clock that night, and then we basically shut down and went to bed shortly after. And then the next morning we were laying in our camper bed with Luther and we were just reading comments and I was crying. I did not expect good crying. I did not expect the reaction. It was so supportive, overwhelmingly so kind. A couple people were not happy and were not kind <laughs> and that's okay too. But I did hide them because I feel like your reaction to someone in that situation says a lot about your own place and and that's okay but you know i curate our energy very carefully i literally am a person who thinks about how others are going to be treated in our group i worry about it i worry about them being accepted and included and so um it's just it's a concern for me and it's also part of who I am as a person. And a lot of people were like, you just need to have thicker skin. And I, I don't know, I think we all mean different things by that, I should say. But if thicker skin means that I don't get to be the person that I am, that's not gonna work for me. And I'll be honest, I don't feel like I'm the one that needs to change. I feel like anybody who thinks that YouTube creators owe them their work and their time and money goes into their channels as well almost in every case for free that's who needs to change it isn't me <laughs> i mean i have stuff i need to change but that isn't it you know so all of that makes me the person who does worry about inclusion and acceptance in our groups so i don't think that i need to change i believe that it's the people who think that they're owed the labor and the money and the time of others just because we love what we're doing so in those reactions as well there were questions i got quite a few questions also in some emails because many of you did not want your comments to be public and you sent me emails or dms so much support i still want to cry when i think about it a little bit um so many of you said that i made you cry and Boy, I'm sorry if I made you cry, number one. But number two, um, a lot of you asked, okay, so if ad rep, I didn't, so many people said, I should say, I didn't realize a creator of your size would have such a small amount of ad revenue. I mean, and if you extrapolate for creators that have smaller subscriber bases and smaller viewership and smaller numbers of views, I should say, like add that or, I guess shrink it down for them they're not making much either so please keep that in mind when you think about all the creators but a lot of people were like okay so if that's the number like how are you doing this so I thought I would tell you and maybe it'll help someone else do it in the future because there's space for everybody you know that's 
it's scarcity thinking to think that I have to keep things a secret in order to make sure no one does the same thing because no one can ever do the same thing anyway, right? So um, I did share how much my channel makes in ad revenue kind of on average. It de definitely fluctuates based on views and stuff like that. I don't worry about views as much because I am following what I'm doing and so it's gonna get the number of views it gets. And the algorithm, I believe people just are chasing it constantly and I don't really believe anyone has the keys to the algorithm. <laughs> you know, any creator will tell you, I think, that sometimes they have a video that they think is gonna do so great and it doesn't. And sometimes they have one that they think isn't really that big of a deal but it's what's going on and it hugely blows up. So it's a crazy thing and there are people who can tell you i'm gonna help you beat the algorithm but i don't really believe it's beatable unless you're ready to pay a huge expensive team for it and i can't do that so um the way that i do make money on my business is mostly through my shop um many of you have been there most of it comes from the shop that's the truth I have buy me a coffee. I don't think I've made more than $25 there, <laughs> which is totally fine. It's just a donation site basically where people can toss you a few bucks if they wanna support what you're creating. So now, um, this was not the case when I made the first video, but now the members area makes about the same for me because YouTube takes a chunk of it. Uh, it makes about the same amount as ad revenue. So that's been very helpful for me to sort of plan for the future and figure things out. And then also, um, I get small amounts, small revenue streams is what they call them from affiliate links. So there is nitpicks, Amazon, and Paradise Fibers are the ones that reliably kind of just trickle in less, way less than $100 a month. Um, so that's what keeps things afloat. And I cannot give you a number for the shop because that fluctuates hugely. Uh, right now it has been quiet and really since I rented the Dye Dungeon it's been quieter, which is totally not a problem. Everything is fine. I don't want you guys to worry. A lot of us, especially in the US, and that's who mostly shops in my shop because international shipping has gotten insane. And that's fine, I totally get it. I wouldn't want anyone to pay international shipping just to have one of my braids, like that is so crazy. But in the US and in many other countries, we are feeling really big financial pinches in just pretty much life so i totally get why people cannot spend money on just fun things and hobby things right now everything's good and if we ever were in trouble like i said i can go back to like working a real job i don't have a problem with it and it would be fine so everything's good but that is how i keep this business afloat and it is just me so all those things are things that i handle a hundred percent on my own I do all the shipping, I do all the posting. A lot of times I will schedule posts ahead of time. So like I could be in bed. If you see a post somewhere, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm awake and at my laptop. But um, you know, I don't have help with anything. I've always assumed that if things got big enough in the shop that I needed help shipping, you know, I do definitely know some people who I could pay to come and help me ship occasionally for a couple of hours. I, I definitely can get help if I ever need it, but I'm not in that place right now as far as business goes. So the help's available, and if I was selling that much, the cash would be available to pay someone to help me, so don't worry. All that said, it is just me running all those aspects, making all the videos, doing all the lives, all that stuff, and believe me, I love it but it does spread me quite thin. I also still do most of the stuff around our house because John works full time, plus he has a side business that has been madly blowing up over the past year and it's amazing. And it is kind of like a future dream for him. So in order to help with that, I do pretty much all the housework and a chunk of the yard work, although there is some stuff that I can't do and he does enjoy doing some of it. So. 
um, I'm really busy and this time even more so because this time of year I mean because we have a extended family and I you know want to provide them with kind of our portion of a nice holiday season and so it's busy and I have friends and social stuff that I haven't been doing at all I feel a lot of pressure from a lot of different directions right now and it's again it's kind of the same thing people will say well like just take care of yourself just do this just do that well I'm trying <laughs> but the pressure is it's a lot sometimes in our groups and this is totally innocent no one's purposely doing this but sometimes in our groups people will say well Trish should do this Trish should run this Trish should do that and it's a another time investment that I feel like I could maybe get it started but then I can't devote the time to do it justice but you know what I mean you can halfway do things but then you know people don't get out of them what they're hoping to and they're not gonna do it again so I try to commit myself to just the things that I can do well and devote the proper amount of time to and I feel like I just keep getting sucked in and I can't always say no. Sometimes I can't say no because I said yes you can do it and then I, I, do, I want everyone's experience to be good and so things end up landing on me even though I did not think that it was going to. Gosh that was too long. I'm gonna have to cut that no matter what so I guess I'll be editing but it's okay. The pressure is intense for me and it's it's been really hard really since we were leaving for Rhinebeck. Um, I've since rethought the membership every day almost. I think I just need to close it because I don't have the time to devote that I want. But also some of you have said just give us a place to support the channel without buying stuff. And so I'm not, I still feel like, how do I do this? What do I do? So from going forward, the membership is still a place that if you want to throw me some, a couple of bucks a month to support the channel because you can't buy things, but you've gotten a lot from it and from the community, that is awesome. And please do that. Um, I will continue monthly to give a $25 gift card to the shop away for one of the members. That is one of the things that happens if you're a member at the end of the month. I will pick a winner for that and then also um, a monthly Zoom is something that I'm trying to incorporate. I still have some time in November to get Novembers in. and. That has been really hard for other reasons. I don't really feel like those reasons are all mine, so I don't really want to go into them, but I am struggling to get that incorporated, but it is something that is a plan for members going forward. So, but if anybody feels like they don't want to contribute to the members area for any reason, I support you doing what is right for you, 100%. So do not feel bad. Don't feel like you have to explain yourself. Don't feel like I'm gonna call you out. Uh, everybody's gotta do what they feel is right for themselves and I respect that and I support that. So if that doesn't work for you and you need to shut it off, I understand 100%. All that pressure, everything that's been going on, emotionally I don't feel great and physically I haven't felt great at all. So as you guys know, most of you know, so I am going to be taking a break. I'm going to break until Christmas, um, pretty much everything. I've committed to doing a, a live video in between now and Christmas that I have to do now, but um, I'm, I'm gonna take a break. I do not wanna burn out to the point where I just have to quit. That's the truth. And um, so I'm gonna take it off, even though it's gonna t mean a hit financially, <laughs> it's okay. So I will continue to be dyeing stuff for my shop and updating my shop. If you're on the mailing list, you'll get an email for shop drops. And I'm going to take the time to do some projects that I really wanna do for myself that I don't have time to do. And also I have a spinning commitment for Becky. Becky, if you're watching, uh, that is underway and I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna knock that out and get it back to you 
during this break and then I am gonna just do some projects for myself. I will be filming them so when I'm back there will be video of what's going on or what's been going on, but I'm gonna take a real break. And uh, I'm sure that I will be in the Facebook group some, but I probably won't be super active. You guys don't need me there anyways. There's so much activity there, you really don't need me there. So it'll continue on, but I need this break partially so I can get my head together and keep going because it's been I just have not felt good for a long time and I think um, I think about quitting almost every day <laughs> and I've thought about it before the negativity bias thing has been an issue for me for a long time but um, that's something I'm working on and um, I just I've thought about it before so I love what we've built here I don't want to lose it and I don't want to get so burnt out that I can't keep going, but I feel like I have no other choice. I have to take a break and I'm going to do that until Christmas and you will see me, I believe, right after Christmas. So I have plans, I have thoughts on all that. Like I said, I'll continue to film, but I am not going to edit, I'm not going to be posting much at all until then. So. I want you all to have a wonderful Christmas season. I can't help that happen. I love you. I appreciate your support in whatever way you have given it. it does not have to be financial. If you like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, all those things help me. And like if you're in a Facebook group and somebody says, I'm having trouble with chain plying and you link my chain plying video, like that helps me. That helps my channel hugely when you do stuff like that. So. I appreciate all your support more than you guys know, all your friendships, all the laughs, all the everything. This is not goodbye, but I'm going to take a break. So I will see you soon. I hope you have the best holiday seasons and I hope you all stick around. But again, if you feel like it's not for you, I understand and I support you making whatever decisions are right for you. So I will see you guys right after Christmas. Thanks. I love you. Bye.